All right, Twitter users forced to deal with another outage today. Dan Howley here with what happened this time. Dan, it's been a mess there. What happened today, and does this at all have to do with the fact that Elon has just taken a hatchet to the employees at that place? Yeah, it's, it's hard to tell whether or not this is actually an issue that relates to uh, the layoffs that we've seen at Twitter, though they have been massive. I mean, you know, more than half the workforce uh, there is gone. They're essentially working, uh, at least as far as reports go, with a, a skeleton crew. Uh, but what happened today was uh, there was an issue with an API, uh, which is uh, basically a piece of uh, code that allows you to plug uh things into Twitter, uh, more or less. So if you were on Twitter and you were trying to do things like load images, uh, videos, or even links to uh, news articles, you weren't able to see those. You would get this error code showing that uh, there was a, a problem with the API. And you know, for the vast majority of Twitter users, um, they couldn't see what they normally use the app for. Um, sure, you could read text, uh, but you know, uh, when it comes to advertisers uh, or, or uh, news organizations or uh, creators, uh, that kind of content that they would normally post just wasn't there. Uh, so the, the main reason for all of those uh, firms for using Twitter just disappeared in an instant. Uh, it did come back online. Uh, but, you know, when, when you keep seeing these repeated problems from a company like Twitter, you know, when we have Elon Musk on there. Uh, talking about how engagement is huge, you, you have to wonder then, you know, where the final breakdown will be. You know, will, will they start rehiring people or are we going to see some kind of catastrophic failure uh, of the service in the future? Yeah, and speaking of that, I was just reading some stats here. This is the sixth time that we've seen the Twitter, a major Twitter outage in 2023 compared to three in the same time frame last year. When it comes to questions about concerns about Twitter's stability, how do you view that at this point and what we've learned from the Twitter outages if we should actually continue to expect these type of outages here over the coming months, given the fact that headcount is only a fraction at what it once was? Yeah, I think, look, that's something that's just going to happen now. Um, you know, if if I was a betting man, I would say that there's probably going to be some other kind of outage in the future. I mean, you could say that about really anything that's online. That's just, you know, the nature of the Internet. But uh, with Twitter in particular, it seems to be a larger problem just because, as you said, there have been these major outages that have been happening so frequently uh, so far this year alone, right? And we're in, I don't know, March. So not a great look. Uh, and I think for, for a lot of people who depend on Twitter, you know, it makes them question whether or not they should continue to stay on the platform or instead go to something else, whether that's uh, Meta or Instagram, TikTok, Snap, something along those lines. You know, really the, the big thrust uh, of Twitter is that that's where a lot of uh, you know, thought leaders go, that's where a lot of researchers go and a lot of journalists go, so you can get the news easily. There's not a lot that can fill that. We'll have to see if Twitter can keep holding on as long as they can. All right, we'll see. All right, Dan Halley, thanks so much.